Hello and welcome and happy new year because if you're listening to this today, it is literally the first of the year. Uh, before we get started in tonight's episode, I want to remind everybody that we are in fact on the social media at Dinks with Kinks on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. Reach out, talk to us, uh, tell us what you like. I am one of your hosts and with me as always, the very beautiful, uh, the very, uh, oh, hmm. There's just not a word to properly describe that gorgeousness, uh, Miss Rebecca. Oh, well, thank you. <laughs> I got to go first in the new year. <laughs> and a man as brilliant as he is silent on the good moments, Mr. Shep. Good evening. That's my New Year's resolution, guys. I'm going to be honest in my intros. Oh, so how long is that going to take you? Like, a oh, I'm going to, I'm. <laughs> Yeah, no, it's so we're recording this before the new year and this comes uh-huh. out New Year's Day and I'm going to tell right. you right now I've already broken it. Oh, sweet. Sweet, sweet. So, I'm yeah. not beautiful. By the next recording. Huh, you know, no, no, sweet. by the next no, okay. recording it's okay. going to be right back to Okay, us, gotcha. So. Good. Glad to know. <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm going to be back on my bullshit. Uh, smothering you guys with love and affection. And affection. In ways and I'm instant. going to provide the tacos. Yes. Oh, <laughs> that's what we need for New Year's. We need tacos. Grande. We just need to smoosh them in our face. Just smoosh them smoosh in. Smoosh Really rub them in. You know, Deep, kind of hard. choke them down. Yeah. 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 So. <laughs> I mean, I guess it really wouldn't be uh, Dinks with Kings if we didn't come out the gate with the puns, right? Yeah. I, I mean, like I to thought come you were just talking about my smother taco in the beginning. Product. <laughs> uh, we are actually tonight's episode is about smother taco. We are talking about smothering. Yummy. <laughs> oh, I mean, so, we could also use murder pillow in this too. We really can't. Um, the more the when I'm doing research in the smother fetish, pillow is just really not in it. Hmm. Um, so we or are. So we've actually. Maybe next time. Maybe next time. I actually, we are covering, this is like a combo kink. This is so, a kink of So we have a smother taco. Yeah, we have a smother taco with a side of. <laughs> mm-hmm. With a side well, of see, what? What do, what do is, we have a side of? We like, have a side of body brands. worship. Why? Because with a side of asphyxiation. So that's what we got. We got asphyxiation with a heaping side of body worship. We're going to put it together. We're going to mush it together. And that's how we get the smother taco. Mm, I see. You start out, you start out with this na- nice case of consent. Mm-hmm. You throw in a little bit of body worship with a little bit of fixation mm-hmm. and a little consensual non-consent. And then you wrap that and you eat it. And that <laughs> is the Literally. ingredients of our smother taco. <laughs> and that's kind of what we're talking about tonight. <clears throat> yeah. <laughs> uh, what did y'all guys think? Like when you first heard the word like smothering kink, what did what were your first impressions? Girl like, on top gate, with a pillow over anything. somebody's head. Somebody's over somebody's, house, somebody's head. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So one oh, went, I went Berta, murder. Um, yeah, you <laughs> went. Uh, one flew over the cuckoo's nest, <laughs> and Shep immediately <laughs> went to Waffle House. You know what? Both are acceptable. I think both are. <laughs> I honestly, I think both are really acceptable because, like I said, I love them both. You got a little bit mm-hmm. of Jack Nicholson, and you got a little bit of heartburn, and I'm all about combining those two. We got Jack Nicholson with heartburn. Yes, and a little cheese. Actually, like, yeah. When I when I first thought of this, I thought it would be more of like just like what the word implies smothering like right. asphyxiation but not through choking not through uh other meat like pressure but other than just full facial coverage and right i was half right i, I really was but <laughs> when when i really dive down into it the first words and this will strike me sir, the very first words i read when it came to smothering fetish were body worship and i was like wait what and then I'm thinking, like, are we talking about smothering an affection? Like, you know, a really bad praise kink? Where you're like, oh, I'm going to kill you with cuddles. You're smothering me. 
Yeah. I'm gonna kill Stop you, it. Cuddles. You're smothering me. <laughs> Get off my back, lady. Come on Come now. On. I'm being smothered. But no, <laughs> this is um, very much where a partner will sit, and I literally mean sit, on top mm -hmm. of their partner's face, encapsulating the nose and the mouth under their genitalia or anal region, depending on your gender. Mm -hmm. and, and ironically enough, that's like one of my biggest fears when I, I, I sit on a guy's face is that I am terrified that I'm going to smother him. And I'm terrified that that's like, oh, he's like, I, I'm, I'm going to be grinded in this guy's face. But I, I, I've discovered that that's a, that, that's a thing. And I was like, you're, well, all right. So you're worried about smothering, <laughs> but not drowning them. Well, uh, <laughs> <laughs> well I mean, 2023, we're already talking about the firefighting. In, in the past, haven't we, um, haven't we come across the product that's like a little little foreplay snorkel, so he can, so he won't lose his breath. Is it, isn't that a bendy straw? Yeah, I mean, it's called yeah. a bendy straw. Stick his like bendy a straw up your nose. It was a little foreplay snorkel. But I mean, that honestly de defeats the purpose of smothering. Uh, this mm -hmm. is very much like, yeah, you know, if you put the bendy straw in there, you're not smothering. You're just, you're covering. Covering, yeah. Yeah, which is a whole different ingredient. A full tilt the, on the this classic. one, not half -ass. So it's smothered and covered. <laughs> mm -hmm. I mean, I guess you could smother then cover, or cover and then you pull the straw out. You're like, okay, now, and you pull that straw. Out, so smothered and well, covered. I mean, if it's yeah, a bendy yeah, like straw, covered. you're just like, kink. You put a kink in kink the, straw. the straw. Oh my god, the oh. buns today! I can't. This we're starting off this. We're starting off this year right. <laughs> Well, I we mean, have I to offset I mean, all the bad ones with one decent one. Sorry. That's You're right. Fair. And we have to come out the gate immediately going, let's kink it up. I mean, come on, y'all. Let's get it together. Let's put our puns where they go. And let's get kinky with those puns. And we're going to kink the straws. And we're going to kink, you know, the whole aspect of it. I actually had a partner that was into smothering. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> yeah. And she wanted to ride my face. And we had a signal when I could not breathe. It was honestly the double tap. Mm -hmm. I was not allowed to hit her thigh unless I was tapping out. It was very, um, mm. I don't want to say necessarily domination, but mm -hmm. there were a lot of aspects behind that. Like Same. it was, um, it was more or less wanting to be, in complete control without being in complete control. Like, I am dominating you by burying my face in it. Huh. Like, where the sub has the power. It's, it's, the it's very hard to explain. Power? I mean, the sub always I mean, has the power. <laughs> 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 you know, I, I know what and you mean, typically, I know what you mean. Yeah. And typically, people who want to be smothered, like, the, the majority of people that's kink are the ones who want to be smothered. Um, you know, they're the ones that let say, baby, let me drown in it. That's a great way to go out. I have never been told, baby, let me drown in it. Wait, which you is surprising. You're talking to all the wrong people. Yeah, you're talking to all I know, the wrong which people. Which is so surprising considering my abilities. I don't know. I guess uh, I, I don't know. I'm still a little hold stuck on, on the whole on. no, no th th thigh touching thing because, I mean, that's what, if that's where I'm going to be, I'm going to be buried. The he's thighs gonna, are gonna, not only is he gonna be well, touching the thighs, he's gonna go and if, just, well, just in case they're wanting like, to try to pull out and be like, thighs. no, 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 this is you're in this now. This is happening. But mm -hmm. if I let go, the thing is I couldn't let go. I couldn't change my position without her being alerted. Oh, so I had my hand bad. on the thighs, but if I like if my hands came off at all, mm -hmm. she immediately lifted. I'm limber. I think my uh, my keyword would be smack her in the back of the head with my foot. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, I, I couldn't get in that position. I can introduce you to some classes or something. Yeah. Okay, you can get me. You can get me off Lexa. Let me bear you up, old man. Because, okay, good. Mm -hmm. Um, uh, I'll start doing my yoga, uh, which I've yoga. actually recently started. Uh, yoga is a thing, and I have started it. <laughs> Getting a little limber for 2023. A little, put, put um, a little more limber in your timber. No, honestly, I'm just old, and it, my body hurts, and so I'm trying to get my body to hurt less. 
And yet here I am older. <laughs> yeah, well, I mean, I lived, I lived harder and unhealthier. Did you eat too many tacos? <laughs> I've had one too many tacos, no, and you just boy, do I like this, to be drowning. Was it a soft taco or a hard taco? Well, it depends on my mood. Really? Okay. Cool, 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 <laughs> cool, 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 But. Um, so, I just, I'll... I. Oh, go ahead. No, 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 no. Oh, no. No, I, I, as a, well, as someone, as a female who, I like, I really am terrified of smothering somebody. I don't know if it's, I, I don't know. Maybe it's just maybe my. I'm self-conscious. Maybe I haven't had anybody ever want me to sit on their face for that long. Because usually they want me to sit on their face for the novelty of it. And then they're like, okay, well, I'm like, all right, it's fun. Now I'm going to flip you over. And like, like, they don't want to ever... I say this with all I've caring. Never... You need to get over that. Accept you it. You need to get over that because you are not Take big it. enough to smother somebody. <laughs> exactly. Like, unwillingly. You are not big enough to smother somebody against their will. I'll put it that way. You absolutely could. Anybody could ever smother wanted anybody. me to smother them. I just, like I said, you're just you're talking to people who don't have smother kinks. Okay, um, fair. I mean, it can be. I mean, like I said, you. most people. And you're right. A lot of people, when you when you when you think about this kink, you think of the gimmick of sit on my face, uh, mustache rides. Uh, uh, use my let me clean let me clean your seat off, and they wipe their face. Uh, but this is a lot more into uh, being passionate and nurturing to it. Like, almost, like, take all of me in. Let let me envelop you. Almost mm. like baseline vor without being vor. I wonder that if any of them ever said, let me be your brown noser. I mean, yeah. I mean, honestly... Uh, because smothering does deal with the butt. Uh, give me that big juicy butt. Put that butt on my face. Let's butt it up. Uh, let's butt I'm heads. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Brings that new meaning to brown nose. That's all. Yeah. And a new. Mm. Mm. And a new meaning to butting heads. <laughs> mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Okay. Turn the other cheek. Oh my god! I I'm done. I I can't. <laughs> <laughs> um but no very much it is it is almost like so it is very dominating um being able to smother but it's almost more of a very nurturing like a lot of the stuff i read now again if you have this kink and you have this fetish and we're talking wrong at us on that social media come at us come come at me and say no you got it wrong and we will post corrections we will i've done it before um it makes me think of the TikToks. This this fetish me and kink makes me think of the TikToks uh, that I've seen circulating. Uh, several you know, men and women um, have done the audio too, and it's like, um, ladies, don't be afraid to really sit on my face. You know, that's the best way to die. You know, and like you know, get in there and you know to Valhalla or whatever. That's how warriors die or whatnot. And I'm like. Well, now I know. Like, these are people who are like, may, might have that. It's just like, sit on it. Like, don't hover. Like, it's always don't the hover. debate on when you sit on a guy's face, do you hover or do you sit? And that's a, that's like, it's almost like, do you like feed or do you not? It's very polarizing. I know, especially mm-hmm. for females, it's very polarizing. Do you sit on their face? Do you put your weight on it? Or do you just sort of like, you know, help support with your knees or your arms don't. or whatever? Well, and we've been... Don't treat my face like a porta john. <laughs> and you know we've been but focused on the um, female gender some of these scenarios. So it's like, <laughs> if it's a male, is that like a a super super tea bag? Super tea bag. Usually, uh-huh. typically with males, it is a lot to do with anal smothering, um, mm-hmm. burying in that ass. Uh, is that a hacky sack let sit? Get, let me get chin deep. Oh, ha- hacky sack sit. We'll call it that one. A hacky sack sit. Mm-hmm. Ooh, that is a good one. Taint nothing about it. Or a nesting you sack. Taint nothing about it. I like a nesting sack. We can, yeah, we'll call it nesting. You're nesting on the face. Nesting yeah. sack. I'm, nesting. I'm gonna Ooh. need a minute. <laughs> Listen, we have to start the year off right. This is a very fun fetish. I'm just and saying, we got to be in gender fluid. It opens you know, it up so. to 
gender fluid uh, <laughs> that taint nothing about it. You you nest you you nest sacking. Um, you're sacktastic. Ooh, sacktastic. Oh my god. Sacktastic. Mm. Um, that sounds more like a energy energy bar or something. But I can yeah. see how this is body worship, though. Yes. I can on like a hundred percent like they there is something about just it's so because your face is a very intimate thing like that's it, it's a very um a lot of people get very weird about having their face touch or people near their face and so having somebody sit on your face and and just absolutely go to town on it and just want to be just in, not only just like you know taste your essence and yeah I said essence um but just you to, did you did what essence I did <laughs> um and and just completely breathe it in and 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 just have the entire life from that body part being taken or like you know because air is a life-giving thing and so to want to just completely give that person and that body part that entire body everything about you it's that's the ultimate worship like well, going down there i essentially want to oh i was gonna go say one. uh go Did ahead you go first okay it's essentially i want to worship you to death mm-hmm. i want to worship you to the detriment of my own health my own uh safety and asphyxiate myself on you I don't, you know, it's not that I want to be asphyxiated, but I would asphyxiate myself just to worship you. And that, to its core, is what this fetish is all about. And I love, I can get 110% behind that. Mm-hmm. And we, and there right, a sure. lot of fetish, oh, sorry, go ahead. I was going to say, I wonder if this could be a shirt in some way, or a, or a sticker or something. We'll call it Mayan Body Worship. Yes, sacrifice your breath to this booty. <laughs> mm. Just a Mayan calendar in the shape of a butt. Yeah. yeah. Yes. Mayan body worship. Mm-hmm. I can get behind that. Hundred and ten percent. And behind right. that, and, yes, you will. <laughs> and you were talking about how uh, this is very um, almost vor like, and it, it very much vor is the same way. It is very much ple like especially those who are looking to be consumed. And and just I want to nourish you everything about you. I I want to give you everything. And you know, is the difference I, I, between? I, on, oh, sorry. Yeah. Honestly, as a sub, that's sort of nice to just be like told, sit on my face and smother me. I'm like, you want to give me everything, and that's awesome. <laughs> yeah. And honestly, and you know, when I when I said earlier. It's not always like a subdom situation of like mm-hmm. what you think it would be like the the person sitting on the face is the dom. Uh, a lot of people I know with this fetish, they're the dom wanting to be smothered. Uh, my partner who was into it a whole lot, she was submissive, a hundred percent, but she got turned on by her dom wanting to take all of that in. It was like almost like in a power exchange to a degree. And the more research I do into it it does follow the lines that usually sometimes it's not so much I'm dominating you by sitting on your face but you are asking for this situation like I am being mm-hmm. told to let you worship me in such a way so it's almost like kind of a reverse of power there without there being but, a reverse of power yeah but I'm almost not really because when you are restrained um, and your, like your dom is not is just absolute especially pleasure doms that just want to give you everything they want you to feel mm-hmm. everything and they want you to feel good over and over and over and over and over again so it's it's very much like that except they're asking you to be in a different position I, I that's that's how yeah. I equate it it's like it's very much I want like the smothering <clears throat> and that but at the same time I want to like don't worry about and it's almost like that don't worry about 
breathing. Don't worry about me at all. You sit there and you enjoy what I'm doing. Like, and, and, and that's, that's very much a pleasure dom thought process on, on that. And in that just because the subs on top doesn't necessarily mean they're in, in charge. So. I wonder if the difference between like the regular mothering and the <clears throat> vor aspect is if you clap in the cheeks and saying feed me first. No, actually, um, when I was looking at to the vor connections, it wasn't so much of the eating, but as the absorption. Like, uh, we're looking more into like not uh, edible vor, but as into like pre-birth vor. And mm-hmm. uh, absorption vor, where it's more of a, um, I'm enveloping you, so mm-hmm. to speak. Right. They're not trying to get back in. Yeah, <laughs> they're not trying to get back in. I'm not trying to consume you. I'm trying to envelop you and absorb you as mm-hmm. a part of me. And like, it's a very intimate thought don't you think it is i actually this is one of those kinks that i'm very much i into the idea of Mm -hmm. i value my ability to breathe but good god absolutely sit on my face and uh uh and tell me that you love me sit on my face and tell me that you love me (laughs) sit on my face and tell me that you love me uh, don't treat me like a porta john. Don't hover over that shit. Just push you down. Let me really get in there. Because at this I... point in time, if you are really writing it, you're doing the work here. I'm not. <laughs> that's true. I guess that's true. Yeah. yeah. I I do like with Vor and this and this mother. It's it's um. This is one of those kinks that one requires an immense amount of communication beforehand. Two, a lot of trust between partners. And three, it's just that underlying intimate tone that um, y- that it has. And and just on its surface, you would think, how is it intimate? But it is that intimacy of, like you said, take everything in. Like, I want to be, like, I want to be consumed, like, not consumed, but absorbed by you. I want to give you this pleasure. I want us to be this one thing. I want you to just surround me. And that is a very intimate thing and an intimate mindset. Mm-hmm. And I love the fact that it's not just about sexual pleasure, but it's also about that emotional pleasure as well. And that it it just hits different. It just hits different when you when you come when it, it, when you're into it. It just hits different. Hits different. <laughs> <laughs> I'm on board with that. And okay, so let's get into some safety. Um, as I discussed earlier, like my partner, <clears throat> if you're doing this properly, you can't breathe. Uh, you have to be very mindful of your own ability to, like, how long can you hold your breath? Don't get lost in the moment and don't black out because that is not healthy. Your brain does, in fact, need oxygen. So y- you, as the person being sat on, needs to be able to recognize. I am losing oxygen. I need oxygen. I need to breathe. I need to come up for air. Um, And your partner needs to know what your signal is. So uh, the way we did it was, yeah, I would grip the thighs. And if I started to lessen my grip and come off, she would immediately know he's losing oxygen. He's losing consciousness. I need to get off of him. So, uh, goal is to be able to recognize it before you start losing consciousness. So, have a system of like double tap or some kind of like motion that is not geared toward what you're doing. Something that's going to take you out of the moment or take your partner out of the moment to remind yourself, I need to give the other person air or I need to get myself some air. Asphyxiation is no laughing matter. It can cause brain embolisms. Uh, permanent brain damage or worse, a stroke. Mm-hmm. So, like I said, this is a fine kink to participate in. Just be smart about it. I feel like the thump. I feel if somebody thumped me, thump. I'd be like, what the thump? <laughs> I get a thump. I'm like, what the fuck? <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, like I said, if you're, if you're doing consensual non-consent with this, you know, there will be a lot of 
fighting and struggling, mm-hmm. um, if you need air, another thing you could do is go rigid, like purposefully mm-hmm. stop moving, stop struggling, mm-hmm. come to a complete and utter stop. That way, to let your partner know you're no longer fighting, you submit. Go or you could just blow air back. <laughs> you just no, blow okay. Air back. <laughs> Actually, that is incredibly unhealthy and can cause serious damage to the partner. Blowing in a vagina is okay. We do not condone that. That is dangerous. You can cause an air embolism in your partner. Uh, don't okay. believe me? Google it. Google blowing in a vagina and how deadly it is. It will blow your mind. And make you scared to have anybody near your vagina again. I mean, if a vagina can smoke, it can handle a blowjob. Huh? I'm saying, if a vagina can smoke, it can handle a blowjob. No, it cannot. Uh, No, here at Dangerous Kings, we're not. That is a serious medical... uh, (laughs) You guys really need to Google that to see how serious of a threat that is. <laughs> so here at Dinks and Kings, we do not condone that at all. Gurgle Mine it. was a joke. Mine was not serious. Mm-hmm. It was not serious. <laughs> Please do not do that. I, it was a joke. Yeah, I, do I, not I, I know you were because just, somebody. I, 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 so, I'm yeah. letting our audience know it was a joke. It was a joke. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> that was a that was a big deal a couple of years ago when that first came out. Somebody did that yeah? and it killed somebody. Huh? That I did. Yeah. Know. Yeah, that's why I'm like, no, no, no. That has caused more deaths than you would believe. Um, I'm telling you, Google it. It'll blow your mind, and you'll be like... It'll blow your mind? Hmm. <laughs> I don't know how much Quite that's literally. Blow. Quite literally. <laughs> yeah, so uh, here, Nixon okay. Kings, we do not condone blowing into a vagina, and if you need to know why, <laughs> Google it. <laughs> so that covers our asses. We can't get sued. No, I don't need, I don't, I don't have, just FYI, I don't make enough money to do this. (laughs) So you're not getting anything. So go ahead. (laughs) Yeah. You're not getting a dime. Nope. (laughs) Um, (laughs) But that said, yeah, have a moment, um, a way of recognizing. And I mean, I will say this. If you got a bite, bite. I'm not beneath biting a vagina. Or no, some people are into that, though. They're into it to a degree, but when I start eating it, like eating it like an Arby sandwich. <laughs> oh <my laughs> that special Arby sauce is that it? Not without the Arby sauce. <laughs> yeah. I, I I literally had Arby's for lunch, so let's go ahead yes. and say this is. He's a fun like, thing. and we're done. And we're done. <laughs> and just like that, here we are, ready to spin that wheel. Yay, uh, first spin, spin of the well. 2023 season. First spin of 2023. And, oh. Don't be mean to me. In. Ooh. Oh, no. We're going to something that I had to deal with growing up, and I still kind of into. Uh, it's almost, I want to say it's almost to a specific, mm, specific already covered degradation, region. So. No, it's not. It's not degradation. It's it's a physical aspect that some people have that some people are real into. Broke um, I just kind of it just splatters on there, and I cannot think. I can't think of a good pun for it. It's just it's speckled on there now. Um, I period sex. I don't know. <laughs> no, it, it's not period sex. I mean, I, I feel like I have a really bad sunburn right now, and it's really just shining all over my face. Blushing. Um. Freckles. Freckles. Huh. Freckles make you fuckles. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Freckles <laughs> make you fuckles. Uh, no, next yeah. week we are going to... I, freckles is a very hard thing to come up with a smart pun with. Yeah, I was like, I had speckled. What? Like, like, like are you yeah. speckling something? Like, what are we doing? I shrug- <laughs> I'm going to be honest. I struggle with that one. But I dig uh-huh. freckles. I had to deal with it as a child. I had freckles as a kid. I was a mm-hmm. freckly kid. Um... <laughs> Because of my uh, descent, I was a virus descent and had my little hair freckles. Uh, so next week we're going to be discussing freckles, something that I am very into. I do love some freckles. <laughs> you could have said next week we're really going to connect the dots, you know, something like that. 
Yeah, we, we still wouldn't have got that. Y'all wouldn't have got no, connected us. I would not. Yeah. I'm not even going to lie. Do not, I'm not even trying to pretend that your, I would have got yeah, it. Don't no. give yourself <laughs> fake credit that you think you would have got nope. it to. Nope. I mean, I wouldn't have <laughs> said just that, but I'm saying start off better. I'm just the pretty face. It's fine. <laughs> I'm just a pretty. I'm just a pretty face to connect the dots. I'm just a pretty that face. Sit on it. You there. <laughs> Maybe. Anyway, <laughs> with that, <laughs> let let my face be your throne. And with that, I am your host, John Dondero. And with me, as always, a chair that's better than a um lazy boy, Mister Shep. Indeed. Nice. And good evening. Nice. Till next time. A <laughs> woman. We all kind of wish would smother us just a little bit. That's Rebecca. <laughs> oh, good evening, everyone. <laughs> you call me Ash Brown anytime. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Let me drown in it. <laughs> good night, everybody. Night.